Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Shappy, and today it's time to evoke feelings of calm, tranquility, and blasting the fuck out of shit. Because we're going to be going over the magical world of evocation. I'm going to be going over what the evocation school of magic is, as well as rate all of its spells from first to last level. Do keep in mind that, as I talk about each spell, I'll be taking into consideration what level the spell is and how it compares to the other spells of that level, since it's already obvious that a 7th level spell is going to be infinite times better than a 2nd level spell. Also, keep in mind that most of this is just my opinion, so if I talk shit about your favorite spell, feel free to completely ignore me and continue being a magic. Master Blaster however you want. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So evocation is the magic school of blowing shit up, and the word evocation comes from the Latin phrase to blow your shit up. Evocation spells often take the form of raw magic that can't be easily comprehended as anything other than just magic, such as magic missile or elemental spells that have a hard focus on damaging effects, such as the famous fireball and lightning bolt spells. See, almost all evocation spells are meant to be combat oriented, hence all the jokes about blowing shit up, so you'll be very hard pressed to find a caster that doesn't have at least one of these spells with them for self-defense. But with a description of the way, let's get right into reviewing every single spell, starting with Cantrips. Booming Blade. Good for classes that want a little more melee in their diet, bad for classes that want to attack more than once per turn. Dancing Lights. And now the sun revolves around me. Eldritch Blast. This is the best offensive cantrip in the entire game. Firebolt. If you can't get Eldritch Blast, get Firebolt. Frostbite. Damage cantrips with added effects are always great, though this one falls off fast once enemies start taking multiple attacks per turn. Green Flame Blade. Like Booming Blade, only green. Light. Made obsolete by Dancing Light. Lightning Lure. Not sure why you would want to pull enemies super close to your your squishy casters, but here you go. Ray of Frost. Most enemies are melee fighters. That means that they want to get close to you. Use this to make their day harder. Sacred Flame. Good if something is in cover, also good if you took my combat advice about going prone a lot. Otherwise, it's meh. Shocking Grasp. Let's face it, you will inevitably end up in melee combat. Taking the spell just means that you don't have to stay in melee combat. Thunderclap. A decent spell in theory, but in practice, hitting all the enemies within 5 feet of you for 1d6 damage will probably just remind them to kick the shit out of the horribly positioned caster. Word of Radiance. Oh hey, it's that thing I just mentioned, but worse because now you can't hit enemies behind you because you have to look at what you're hitting. First level. Burning hands. What? You mean you didn't turn your hands into a flamethrower? Well, that's just too bad. Chaos Bolt. Behold, one of the only sorcerer exclusive spells in the game, and it's nonsense. Chromatic Orb. Better in almost every way to Chaos Bolt, except that you need to buy a goddamn diamond to fire it. Cure Wounds. To show you the power of Cure Wounds, I sawed this orc in half, and repaired it using only Cure Wounds. Divine Favor. It would be a decent spell, except that it's Paladin exclusive, and is therefore phased out by a million other concentration spells. Earth Tremor. Once again, I must ask why you are putting yourself in a group of enemies. The spell is even worse outside because now you've just put difficult terrain all around you like a goober. Fairy fire. Cast this and run because as soon as the DM finds out how awesome this spell is, your ass is grass. Guiding bolt. This spell is like Google Maps in that it will show you where to go. It is also like Google Maps in that you still probably won't make it there. Healing word. Hey! Hey you! Get up! Hellish Rebuke. No. Fuck you! Magic Missile. Sometimes you just don't care about the bad guy's AC. Searing Smite. It would be good if not for the Paladin's concentration problem. Thunderous Smite. Four! Thunder Wave. Sure, I'll give this one a pass because it's at least got decent range and does something productive about you being surrounded. Witch Bolt. I mean, if you can find a way to get them to never leave the 30 foot range and not beat you up to break the concentration, at least it's good for your spell slot economy? Wrathful Smite. Are you telling me that the Holy Knight with the power of God and anime on his side needs a spell to be scary? <laughs> Whatever, man. Second level! Agonazar's Scorcher. The second level lightning bolt is perfectly adequate. Branding Smite. When? When will you need this? Continual Flame. I mean, I guess if you're underwater, you might find use in this, but it is literally just a worse light spell, except that it takes a second level spell slot to be bad. Darkness. Darkness! No parents! Lego Batman is sad. Flame Blade. Yep, that's a blade. And it's definitely in flames. Gust of Wind. Hmm, I wonder what this spell does. Melf's Acid Arrow. It's weird for a non-saving throw spell to still do half damage if you miss. I do not dislike it. Moonbeam. Celestial Beam! Prayer of Healing. It takes 10 minutes to cast this spell, and by that point you might as well just take a short rest. Scorching Ray. I always did love spells where you can attack one or multiple people. Shatter. In a day or two! Snillock Snowball Storm. Bow down, bow down, before the power of Santa, or be crushed, be crushed by his jolly boots of doom. Spiritual Weapon. You weren't using your bonus action for anything anyway. Warding Wind. One, personal space. Two, Stay away from my personal space. Third level! Useful if you somehow get it on another class, but paladins have enough concentration spells to worry about. Blinding Smite. Does as much damage as a normal smite, and it also blinds people. If only it weren't concentration. Crusader's Mantle. More useful the more friends you have. Still concentration. Daylight. Fuck darkness. Fuck drow. Fuck obscured bonuses. Fireball. Literally the most famous evocation spell in the game. There's power in these balls. Lehman's Tiny Hut. This is not an evocation spell! Lightning Bolt. Oh look, they're all lining up. Well, they're excited. Mass Healing Word. <gasps> PENIS! Melf's Minute Meteors. It's like Fireball, but worse. Sending. I know it doesn't seem like much, but this spell has saved my bacon many a time. Wall of Sand. Pocket Sand. 
wall of water. It's like a wall, but worse. Wind wall. This isn't even a wall. This is like the suggestion of a wall. Level four. Fire shield. Free damage, light, and resistance at no concentration. Sign me up. Ice storm. Let it go. Let it go. Can't stop killing anymore. Adaluke's resilient sphere. Whether it's friends or enemies, if someone's in trouble, put them in a bubble. Sickening radiance. 30 feet is a pretty decent radius. Exhaustion is absolutely killer, and if you manage to get five turns in, anybody inside is donezo. Staggering. Of all the smites, this is not the most impressive. Storm Sphere. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Vitriolic Sphere. Holy shit, this spell is amazing. Oh, it says D4. Wall of Fire. Now this is how a wall should work. Level five. Big B's hand. This is probably the best way to get fingered. Cone of Cold. Let it go. Let it go. Who the hell needs health anymore? Dawn. This? This is a level five spell? Really? Destructive wave. Emo rage. Flame strike. Okay, look at the spell. Then look at the spell right before it, and then tell me why you even need this. Hello. There's just so much great shit that you can do with this, and so many ways to make the DM cry. Holy weapon. This just isn't good enough to be level five. Immolation. Edgy name. Edgy game. Maelstrom. It's decent, but it really only serves to make some other AOE attack better. Mass cure wounds. Everyone, quick! Let me touch you. It's the only way. Wall of force. Hmm. Yes, this wall is made out of wall. Wall of light. Fire! Wall of Stone. Remember, kids, always use protection. Wrath of Nature. So, you remember when you played RuneScape for the first time and you had to go to Drainer Manor and trees and ship kept attacking you? Well, this is that spell. Sixth level! Blade Barrier. Sure, you could get any of the wall spells, or you could get thousands of spinning blade discs. Chain Lightning. 40 D8 damage in one spell? Don't mind if I do. Contingency. Spend two spell slots to maybe cast one spell. Heal. Mmm, does that feel good? I bet it does. Adaluke's Freezing Sphere. It's like a bath bomb, only frigid, and you'll probably die from it. Sunbeam. Beam! 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 Wall of Ice. At this point, with all the other walls, it's just not worth it. Seventh level! Crown of Stars. This is quite possibly the worst crown that I've ever had on my head. Delayed Blast Fireball. Hey man, everything's cool. It's all fine. Nothing weird. Nothing str- Surprise Fireball! Divine Word. <gasps> Moist. Firestorm. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Force Cage. Because this cage extends into the ethereal plane, I will forever picture the spell in my mind as the Fenton Thermos. Mordenkainen's Sword. You know, I honestly imagine Mordenkainen's special sword to be a bit more useful. Prismatic Spray. <laughs> hey kids, do you like random effects? Wowie! Whirlwind. Druid! Use Whirlwind! Druid, Druid! Eighth level! Earthquake. I pity the poor sorcerer who can't find a spot 100 feet away to cast this piece of trash. Maddening Darkness. Go ahead, Warlock. See in this darkness, you nerd. Sunburst. You know, if this were an actual sunburst, it would do a lot more than 12d6. Telepathy. This is not evocation! Ninth level! Mass heal. I'm gonna heal you for 700 points of fondling damage! <laughs> Meteor Swarm. If you drop another moon on me, I'm gonna lose it. Power Word Heal. As a 9th level spell, just go with Mass Heal. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to be a cool dude. And maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your Davy news, I keep a link to my Discord and Twitter in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.